Good evening. Welcome to ITV News. This is Wednesday's calendar. And these are tonight's main story. Campaigners say they've won a landmark first victory in their fight against plans for a meat rendering plant near Lincoln. Last night, council has voted to reject the scheme at Norton Disney, which would see the £28 million development built on a greenfield site. The company behind the proposal, Lincoln Proteins, says it's committed to finding a way to make its plans work. Martin Fisher has our main story this evening. Next tonight, a jury has been shown a video of one of two defendants in a terror trial allegedly testing out an explosive device. The pair, one from Sheffield, the other from Chesterfield, are accused of plotting to carry out a Christmas terror attack somewhere in the UK. The court has been told the men wanted to make sure they weren't killed themselves and planned to put a homemade device on a driverless remote-controlled car. From Sheffield Crown Court, here's Katie Oscroft. We'll just say with us still to come on the programme this More of the day's news now. And detectives are looking for a Sheffield man in connection with a murder in the city three weeks. Sheffield City Councillors today launched its crackdown on car drivers who park illegally or leave their engines idling outside schools. The campaign comes as tens of thousands of children head back to school at the start of the autumn term. Mobile cameras will catch those who flout the law by pulling up in the no parking zones around schools and from next week drivers who leave their cars idling outside schools could be fined. It's all part of a drive to improve air quality in the city. Mark Whitty reports. Now, one of Hull's most famous attractions has been moved for the first time in 30 years. Yes, the Spurn Lightship, which once guided vessels through the mouth to the River Humber, has been towed to a new position in the city's marina. It's had to move so that work can start on building the new footbridge over the busy A63 on Castle Street. James Webster was there for the historic moment. Uh, history in the making there, James Webster saw it. The ITV Evening News continues at 6.30. Here's a look at what's happening with Mary Nightingale. Mary, thank you. Well, next tonight to a youngster from East Yorkshire with a rare heart condition whose battle is to be shared with millions of television viewers this evening. Yes, George Coop, who's 12, has been travelling to Great Ormond Street Hospital in London for the last five years. This evening, his story will feature in Paul O'Grady's Little Heroes, which looks at the work of the world-renowned institution. Fiona Dwyer has one. And Paul O'Grady's Little Heroes is on ITV at 8 o'clock tonight. Now, we're going to stay with inspirational and courageous youngsters. You might remember... ...celebrates the achievements of remarkable young people with exceptional health needs. It also gave the award winners a chance to get up close and personal with royalty. Matt Price's report does contain a flash photography. Great night had by all. Here's John. Mm, yeah, I'm going to talk Chris just as much as we believe, John. No, just really really joking. Thanks very much, John. That's it from us. Our next update's at 11 o'clock tonight. Ooh, the national and international stories are next with Mary Nightingale. I mean, it's late for you to yeah, be up. Keep the matchsticks <laughs> out. We'll be back at 6 o'clock tomorrow, though. <laughs> Bye, Bye for now. <laughs>